Hello guys, it's your boy Julio here on the Paintball channel. I know, um, I did a year, year back review and my first setup, but this past weekend I did get a little new gear um, at West Point Paintball, the Combat Classics Spring 2015, that was last weekend, it was amazing, got to meet um, Mr. H from HK Army, I got to meet Pete Youth's jig. Mr. U, Master Blaster, Viper X, Gorilla, Viper 6, Gorilla X. It was just amazing. But here I'm just going to do a, um, a quick review of my gun. Um, and then tomorrow I will be doing a sh shooting video. So here, start out with the case. The case it looks like a gun case, like a pistol case. It's pretty awesome. Nice clips here and a little hole here to put like a lock in. Um, the gun is not in the case, it's next to me, over there, next to the case, um, because I was taking out the bolt. Um, what'd you get in it? Of course, Zodiac, for first ever gun, gave colored O-rings, gives you brand new springs and detents, very nice, very easy to maintain. Um, I got my three Allen keys here, just for my gun, that's all you need. Gives you nice tube of hater sauce. This tube is about 20 bucks, but they give it to you with the gun. And of course, your barrel back, your barrel kit, um, front of the barrel, pretty good pores, um, ports in it, so pretty quiet. And then the stock back, they give you, I believe it's a 688. So, nice barrel back. Also, it comes with a grip. So, like, if your hands get, like, very oily or have paint on them, it's very easy just to take it off. And I also got the... My buddy of mine gave me, um, three more barrel backs. They usually have to pay for, but he gave them to me. Also comes in this little thing right here. This rail you can put on... You have to take off your ASA and then put this underneath your gun and then connect your ASA to it it's a rail for your ASA you, um, it lets you attach any um, reg and ASA that match together so you can obviously put on a die CP reg die or CP reg with an on off so really nice attachment and then off put this over here then off to my gun I know the bolt's sticking out, so it's easier for me to take out. So, I'll go over the bolt. This is the 1.5 upgraded bolt for it. Very nice. Um, you see, very easy. The O-rings are almost all the same size. Um, has a little cushion right there. I think you can see. Yep, cushion right there. Helps with, not, helps a lot. Um, so, this just pops right off. It's just the front of it. And then you got just this little piece. There is another piece that does come off, but I don't want to get into it. But this, ladies and gentlemen, this is not an O-ring. This is what they call a washer. They say, um, the company that made, that tuned this gun for me, um, made it so that it gets like one million shots in or something like that. So it's nice. And then you got, I believe this is your HPR in the back. Or LPR. I don't know. I don't remember. And then put that aside. Oh, great foam as well. I didn't think that was necessary. But also, alright, going to the gun now. Zodiac Renegade ZR1. Of course, it's hoseless, but like I said, you can put this rail to make it hosed, and you can put any reg or ASA that match together. Um, go start from the front. So basically, this right here. This little black rip, really nothing into it that just holds the air in. But then that's where like the rig would go if you want to upgrade by putting this rail on, on the ASA. Um, it is has laser eyes, so it's really nice. So laser eyes are great for this gun. Um, great trigger frame. 
trigger frame is nicely rounded here, so it's no point. Great for bigger hands like myself. Um, feed neck, feed neck is great for all hoppers. Um, that's all I have to say. Um, underneath here, the motherboard. The board is a hatred board. Um, the hatred board that comes in it is lifetime. So, which means, if it ever craps out on you, shits out or whatever, they will send you another one. It's happened before. Um, here, people say that if like, like if I'm playing, will I ever press it? No, I'm pushing my hardest right now on the back of the gun where the buttons are, and I'm not. You literally have to press the button. Press it to go on. The hatred board has many different modes, like you just seen the colors change. To get to those, all you have to do is just hold the trigger, just press the power button, and it will go through its modes. Very simple. And then... We're back. And just simply turn it off after you're done changing all your settings. Eyes off buttons is just right on the back of the gun. So turn it on, eyes off, and you can hear the solenoid. I currently play on semi because I hate wasting paint. Only when I play speedball like Long Live or I play on uh, Expo Field at Liberty Paintball in Patterson. Um, and yeah. Um, so, oh, the HPR or LPR or whatever they say is great. Um, it degasses every time. So whenever you take off your tank, it does not hold air. It is amazing. This gun is great. Um, Myself and the the owner of the company tune this gun, so it only gets plus and or minus um around range to three. I think yeah, plus or minus three FPS. That's the range. It's amazing. So as of that, I bought some new some new stuff. As I said in my other videos, I was going to buy a Combat Classics. So, this I did not buy a Combat Classics. This came in the mail a couple days before, thank God. It is the HK Army Haze Patriot headband. Great. Got it from Amazon, I think, for $14.95. It helped me out tremendously over the weekend. So, yep. That's that. Put that right there. And then for a thing for like five bucks, I got the brand new, never used Plenty Eclipse barrel bag that I was using all weekend. I got it that on Saturday and I used it. It was amazing. It's great. Plenty Eclipse, great company. Put that right there. Then the beauty of it I got the Virtue Spire. The Virtue Spire, I got it just regular with the the white and the blue edition um this did not come with it i bought this separately the, the whole the lid with the speed feed for thirty dollars i gave him my blue one the blue regular stock cap that you have to like flip open and i gave him thirty dollars plus giving this in and then i got this so this is awesome the spring fed virtue one so this i, I used all day um sunday amazing Hopper. I still got my dive rotor, but this hopper, oh my god, is just my preference right now. I only used it for a day, and my Spire used for like almost two years already. The Spire is just incredible. Um, I even used it in a night game, and no one knew where I was because I used the feature that you can you know, go through your modes, and when I turn it on, it only has that light that pops up, and then no more lights. Usually, um, when you play with this hopper, you have like the bright blue light that just flashes in your face. No, not anymore with the programming. I turn that off. Die rotor, just have that bright, that bright one. Um, so yep, Zodiac Renegade ZR1, amazing gun. Highly recommended. Price did go down. Um, uh, you can go to the retail if you guys are New York, Connecticut. There is Danbury Action Sports in Bethel, in Bethel, Connecticut. Um, the guy's name is Eugene, just look him up on Google or whatever, he has a couple of these in stock, and they do have, like, the, the upgraded ASA, like, with the rail, like I was talking about. So, that is it, that is all, comment, rate, subscribe, 
and have a great day. Bye.